Hi, Professor. Welcome back to our channel. We are Good Night. I'm Nai Han. For today, we're going to talk about why does the Green Line has the highest suicide rate. As you know, since the suicide rate is a very complex and sensitive topic, uh, as well as the Green Line is located in the north of the world and isolated from around uh, isolated from any other countries in the world, but it has the highest suicide rate. So the, our project visualized the factors contributing the Green Line's highest suicide rate by collecting global data uh, to on um, suicide rate from 1990 to 2017. We designed 13 worksheets, eight dashboards, and one storyboard. We over we provide you an overview of a suicide death rates in at the first and secondly we analyze the three facts of a suicide rate. Thirdly, we analyzed four factors that may affect the green line suicide rate. And finally, as for our end users, we hope the government, the green line government and organization that will help prevent the suicide rate will uh, help a lot by using our visualization products. Hello, Professor. I'm Jen Yan. Today, I will talk about our data sets. We have 14 data sets, as you can see on the left corner. Uh, to give an overview of Greenland suicide rate compared with other countries, our data sets include tables of suicide rate with country, uh, gender, and age. To analyze the method of suicide, we found data about suicide rate using firearm worldwide. To analyze the factors that affect Greenland suicide rate, we also organized tables of mental and substance use disorders rate, alcohol consumption per capita, and the GDP for different countries. We assumed ice melting is one of the factors resulting in high suicide rate. Given this information, we found the data about the area of Greenland glacier melting. Each of our data sets are historical, so we can see their changes over time. Hi, Professor. I'm Qing Yong. After introducing the project and data, now we're going to start our story. So for our first chapter, we are going to overview the global suicide rate from 1990s to 2017s. We first use the math chart to overview the suicide rate across the world. By looking at this map, you will see that the green band has the darkest color. You may say that because it's the year 1990s, but when we play this year animations, you can see that no matter what year it is, um, the green band always got the darkest color. So we make a conclusion that the green band has an extremely high suicide rate over years. The map chart can help us easily overview the global suicide rate. However, in, in order to compare the suicide rates between the countries, color is always not a good choice. So we use horizontal bar chart to compare the suicide rates difference between countries. In this bar chart, we can find that the top three countries with the highest suicide rates were the Greenland, the Russia, and also the Lithuania. Although we can see the suicide rates changing over year via this time animations, it is easier for users to directly compare the oldest year, which is 1990s, with the latest year, which is 2017, to see if there is a dramatically change in the suicide rates over 27 years. In this scatter plot at uh, the bottom right here, we can find the suicide rate in all country is falling during the past 27 years. So for our next chapter, we want to compare the suicide rates by age group between global and green 